you are not a hardcore player. Well, you might think you are, but designers would disagree. Why certain games can be enjoyed by people of all ages, yet most of the players would have a completely different experience. Game designers have that figured out, and no, it isn't about how many hours you spend playing the game. The answer lies in your desires. Developers understand that hardcore gamers are not just players who spend endless hours immersed in their favorite games. They recognize that hardcore gaming is about a certain level of dedication, commitment, and skill that goes beyond mere playtime. So when the designers create different player classifications, they focus on a few characteristics. How dedicated the players are to winning and how obedient they are when it comes to following the rules. Given these requirements, there is quite distinct difference when it comes to specifying player types. While there could be many different types, the majority of them can be summarized in three. Casual, hardcore, and cheating players. There could be more types, but they start to be really genre specific. So it's important game designers appreciate and cater to a wide spectrum of players, including casual gamers who enjoy games for relaxation and entertainment. Another name for this type is a standard player. That's what you can imagine a large number of the player audience to be. This type of player generally plays the game the way it's intended to be played and is quite eager to follow the rules. With that information, we can check one of our requirements. The other quality a standard player has is that they are not too interested in winning. With that, we don't mean that they don't have the slightest interest in completing or winning the game. No, it basically means that they value the designed experience more. We mentioned that the time invested in games could also contribute to the motivation of the players. Generally, standard players do not spend thousands of hours mastering every single mechanic so that they could complete the game in a shorter amount of time. They usually put in fewer playtime hours per day compared to other types. They could still put in hundreds of hours, but they're doing that with a different motivation. In most cases, it's because they enjoy playing the game. Cheating players are rare, but it's important to analyze their mentality because they share a really similar characteristic with hardcore players. They are extremely motivated to win, but the difference comes from desire to follow the rules. Hardcore players try to master the mechanics, even if it's in a creative way, but cheating players wouldn't spend any time chasing mastery. Instead, they'd rather do the bare minimum to reach victory. Now that you have an idea about the player types, it's important to know which audience the game is designed for. Designers recognize the value of hardcore gamers and create experiences that cater to their desires for deep engagement and mastery. However, since the standard players are the majority, developers try to create products which appeal to the masses. It's important to find the balance between both in your game. It's important to note that neither standard players nor hardcore gamers are superior or inferior to one another. Both approaches have their merits and contribute to the diverse gaming landscape we enjoy today. A hardcore gamer is someone who fully embraces the complexities and challenges presented by the game. They are the players who strive to understand the intricacies of game mechanics, explore every nook and cranny of the virtual world, and seek to master the gameplay experience. Let's take a look at some real-world examples to better understand what developers mean by hardcore gaming. Take The Elden Ring, for instance, a game which is known for its punishing difficulty and steep learning curve. Hardcore gamers who tackle it embrace the challenge head-on, spending countless hours honing their reflexes, studying enemy patterns, and executing precise timing to overcome seemingly impossible obstacles. So far, we've talked about gameplay mastery, but there's another way hardcore gamers showcase their desires. Some players immerse themselves in massive open-world RPGs like the Elder Scrolls series or the Witcher series. They spend hours upon hours exploring every inch of the game's world, completing side quests and uncovering hidden lore. These players often create intricate character builds, delve into complex character development systems, and fully embrace the role-playing aspect of the game. The RPG genre features a branching narrative, which usually is modified by players' choice and progression. RPGs can have multiple endings, not only at the end of the game, but for shorter quests too. Hardcore RPG players strive to complete the game multiple times, only so that they can experience all of the story. While we're still talking about that genre, the From Software games usually have really complex lore. In most massive games like Bloodborne, the lore can be found in so many places. Item descriptions, hidden locations, etc. Making it a challenge for the player to find, collect and enjoy. A casual player would enjoy the lore, playing the main storyline, and get involved with some of the side quest content. But a hardcore gamer would try to collect all of it or complete it in a record short time. This is yet another special characteristic of hardcore gamers, the completionist trait. Games offer a vast variety of elements to be collected. 
be it items, cosmetics, lore, crafting ingredients, or even completing difficult levels. You name it. Some hardcore players may spend all of their time collecting every single element, only to earn the completionist achievements. A great example is the custom levels in Mario Maker games, in which players could attempt to beat impossible levels. Some levels have hundreds of thousands of attempts and still keep at a 0.01% completion rate. People put in literal work weeks only to try and complete the level. On the other hand, in MMO games, you could see people spending even longer trying to get unique item drops which have less than a 0.5% chance of dropping. Yes, wow, I'm looking at you. This is a normal strategy for the MMO genre. MMO games are usually designed to appeal to hardcore players due to their high requirements for mastery. These types of games offer thousands of collectible items, which yet again is a major trait of the hardcore player. Another example of hardcore gaming can be found in the world of speedrunning. Speedrunners are players who aim to complete games in the fastest possible time. They meticulously study every level, exploit glitches, and optimize their routes to achieve record-breaking times. The dedication and mastery required for speedrunning exemplify the essence of hardcore gaming. Esports is a prime example of the competitive side of hardcore gaming. Professional players devote countless hours to practicing and perfecting their skills in games like League of Legends, Valorant, and Overwatch. Their commitment to teamwork, strategic thinking, and precision gameplay showcases the hardcore mindset. It's no surprise that players like that take this seriously and treat playing as a job. Professional gamers spend around 10 hours every day, not only playing, but analyzing their performance. Most players will even have coaches that run these analyses for them. Players in competitive shooters will spend hours in virtual firing ranges, mastering their tracking and accuracy. Let's not forget about the thriving modding community. Modders are hardcore gamers who go beyond playing games. They dive into the game's code, creating new content, enhancing visuals, and pushing the boundaries of what the original game offers. Modders extend the lifespan of games, provide customization options, fix issues, build communities, and even inspire the next generation of game developers. Their contributions are invaluable in shaping the diverse and ever-evolving landscape of gaming. Their passion for customization and creative expression exemplifies their hardcore spirit. From a developer's point of view, being a hardcore gamer is about embracing challenges, mastering game mechanics, pursuing excellence, and engaging with the game beyond the surface level. It's a mindset that elevates the gaming experience and contributes to the overall richness of the gaming community. So, the next time you hear the term hardcore gamer, remember that developers see it as more than just a measure of playtime. It's about embracing challenges, pursuing mastery, and pushing the boundaries of what the game has to offer. If you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you will appreciate our next one. YouTube has selected it specifically for you. Enjoy!